Altion. We're a cloud-based collaborative content management system. Do okay. you do any editing yourself? Yeah. Oh, awesome. What do you edit on? Maybe like music video, that kind of stuff. Oh, cool. Or yeah. all kinds of stuff. I Actually, yeah, I'm a DP, so I shoot tons oh, of stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Do you know if you guys use like Final Cut or Resolve? I use or Resolve. Premiere? You use Resolve. Resolve? Okay. So as of now, we only have integrations with Premiere Pro and Final Cut, but we're okay. hoping to get Resolve by the end of the year, which also. is really exciting. Yep. Um, so as you can see, we're project-based. So these are all the projects we've created attached to this account. Yep. When I click into them, you can see that we've got some videos, we've got some photos, and um, when I click into a video, you can actually view it in simple yeah, back of that file. And oh, it's really cute. <laughs> it's a cloud-based service. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, for example, like this instant playback that you're seeing is actually a low-res proxy version of that file because as soon as you upload your media to the cloud, it will automatically transcode that proxy for you, which is really nice. You can also, it also uploads all your metadata information attached to the file. And if that's not enough, you can actually add your own down here. So for instance, let's say you were um, shooting this all on card A, right? Okay. So you're going to tag all your media that you shot on card A. And then instead of having to go through all of your projects to find it, you can just search over here for card A. And all of your medias that stack will come up really quickly, which is okay. nice. Um, another feature we have is time coded commenting, which is one of my favorites. So, for instance, I could scrub through here. I mean, like the final project of like final approval. video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And be like, all right, cut okay, here, so right? Here. Okay. All you have to do is toggle that, choose a color coded marker, which is nice because you can base those on different things for organization, right? Mm -hmm. Save. And then boom, there you have everything in there ready to go. And you can share this with your collaborators as well and have them come and comment themselves too. Okay, so if I'm editing in Premiere, can I see the Great question. Okay. Yeah, so with Premiere, um, they actually support these uh, markers. And with our integration, when you drop your um, media into the timeline, you'll see the color-coded marker. And if you hover over it, you'll also see the text, which okay. is really nice because you can see your notes as you're actively editing. Yep. Um, on top of that, like collaboration-wise, do you do do you work with collaborators, or is it kind of just you sometimes? Some, I just maybe like transfer files all over. Yes. Okay. Great. I'm I'm happy to know that because we have some tools for that. So, for instance, one of the first we have like three basic um, collaboration workflows, right? I'll just briefly go over them. Okay. Um, the first one is with an individual user account. You can share projects, but you can only share individual projects, and that can be a little te tedious if you need to share more than one. Okay. With like more than one people as a person as well. Mm -hmm. So for that, we recommend creating a group account. With a group account, you just purchase individual user seats, and they cost $12 a month per person, and it comes with 250 gigs per account. Okay. Um, so that's just if you have like, you want to have multiple people all on the same um, account being going um, that can be able to go in and access all the projects and all the media, right? But maybe you know you work with like clients, like you said, and you want to just like share them what you have so far. You can actually share with non-users as well. So, for instance, I can click into here, and I can share this file with you right now. I can say share. I'm gonna let them just view playback or download the original and the proxy. Maybe you want to set a password for security. We'll just do one, two, three, four. <laughs> Not the most secure, but just for example. Yep. <laughs> And then let's say, all right, you have one week to access this link. Okay. Copy URL, you can email it to them, yeah. you can text it to them, whatever works best. All they have to do is copy and paste it in a new tab. As you can see, they're not getting anywhere without that password, but once they enter it, they'll see the playback right here, or the file. They can view playback, and they can download it right here as well. And in the next couple months, we'll be able to see comments as well, which is really nice. Um, there's also the reverse of this, so like let's say you're missing media, you need someone to send it to you and you want to upload it to your cloud. Instead of having them send it to you and then you upload it, you can actually just request an upload to the cloud directly here. So you just enter